was said that you missed earlier in the game. Spoken as only a wicker. <laughs> Quite. Congratulations. Uh, Sally, thanks very much indeed. 22 minutes to eight. Uh, most of us spend time on the internet. Just how savvy are you, though, about the amount of information you share online? How much could a complete stranger find out about you? Well, we gave internet security expert Tom Alubi just two pieces of information about our guinea pigs, mother and daughter, Sarah and Becky. We told him their names and the city in which they live. And in just one day, using no specialist software whatsoever, let's take a look. I know a bit about you. Really? Oh dear. That's all I'd say. <laughs> so, Mum, Sarah, can I confirm a few things with you? Is this your birth name? It is, yes. And your job? And you were born then. I was. And so you're going to have a big party this year. Will you be inviting your younger brother? Is this his full name? Uh, <laughs> no way. Yeah, will this be your poor uh, mother's maiden name? Yes, it is. Is this your, that's your my address? address? Yes, that's quite yeah. scary. Yeah. Yes. yeah, because before that you would have lived with, with, yes. with, with your ex. So, <laughs> yeah, possibly there on that photo. It, it, it is. There, yeah, yeah. Now think about where you went to school. Did you go to this primary? Yes, and, I did. Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, before that you were a proud member of the First Trafford Girls Brigade <gasps> back in uh, uh, 79. <laughs> where you, that's 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 great fun. You're a big fan of uh, Robbie Williams as well, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> which is why you're so delighted that you've got tickets for the concert next year, which is going to be oh. great fun, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Tom, Sarah and Becky are here. Good morning to Good you Good morning all. to you. Well, were you horrified, surprised? What was your reaction when you discovered how much Tom had found out about you? It was scary. It was scary to think how much was to come find you're out You're watching this, you. girls. And um, Tom, I wonder, because it, most of the information that you're finding out there was about Sarah. I'm going to find out a little bit more about what we found out about you, Becky, oh, yes, in just a moment. Yet. But Tom, this is all part of Safer Internet Day. Yeah. If we put a lot of information on Facebook, for example, can we be surprised if someone can then find it? Was it was the added stuff that you found? There, there is other stuff, but I think the key thing is you have to be really conscious that if you're putting information on Facebook or any other site, have you set your privacy settings so that only your friends can see it, or have you just left them wide open? And one of the things to do is to, whenever you're posting something, think about somebody who might be reading it, someone you respect. I tend to think about my mum or my team at Novel looking at it and sort of saying, are they going to be laughing or making fun? And if they are, then I don't do it. Because if you, in the sense you're entering an information marketplace, really, aren't you? So you have to be very careful, Becky, about uh, what you let people know about. Here's, here, that's, in the suspense and find out what Tom discovered. One of your favourite subjects is drama. Isn't yeah. It? Yeah. Because <laughs> you did that great skit with Emily, you were the Sharpettes. That was great, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that was good. And you get on really well with the teachers, don't you? Because they, yeah. they let you take a test at home that you tweet about. Oh my god. Yeah. I hope Mr. Cook doesn't watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag hello Google. <laughs> Which was the name of the team? Just <laughs> Mr. Shah. Mr. Shah. Yeah. Oh. We'll be waiting for you now. <laughs> so are you alarmed by by what Tom discovered? I mean, about you <coughs> and about your daughter? Yes, a little bit. So, you know, there's some very personal information out there that I know your address and things like that can be a matter of public, public record. But my mother's maiden name, you know, and a lot of like, previous groups I've gone to in the schools. But I'd forgotten that I'd ever posted that information on other sites that I didn't use anymore. Now that's interesting, Mother's Maiden Name, because of course a lot of this personal information, it, it can be useful to people if they want to try and hack your account, mm -hmm. because things like Mother's Maiden Name, yeah. you might be asked to use it for a password. Yeah, yeah. So what do you advise then if this information is out there? I never use my real Mother's Maiden Name. I don't see the point of it. People that ask you for your mother's maiden name don't actually want your mother's maiden name, they just want another word. So why would you use something that everyone can find out? Well, the, the difficulty is, because your mother's maiden name is something you can easily remember, and you find there are so many passwords yeah, that you have to yeah, remember, yeah. it's hard to keep track of them all. Yeah. Passwords, the longer the password, the better. So one of the good ways to create complex passwords is to just think of a, a set of words, not connected with each other, but just normal words, you know, dog, house, something, 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 
and the longer the password gets, it, they can actually be very easy to remember, but just a string of words rather than trying to come up with a really complex shot. Sure, that's a good password for you with Mr. Charles. Okay. <laughs> 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 Did you probably learn about internet safety and access privacy at school, but do you think that teenagers put what they learn into action? I don't think so. No, I think they should. Mm -hmm. I think it's important because people can find this out about you. Um, but we do learn it in school and we are taught about it, but I don't think they've put it into practice. Have you updated your privacy settings since uh, uh, you had a little Yeah, <laughs> and also a lot of the information had come from somebody else's Facebook page that was completely unlocked. So I was straight on the phone and the reaction was, well, I've got nothing to hide. Well, you might not have, but somebody else that's posting on your face, that's, that could that's, very well. That's real difficult if somebody puts a photograph of you on their Facebook what can you do about it? Yeah, exactly. I mean, you need to go and have a look at your own uh, privacy settings, but then your friends as well, tell them about this and get them to update their settings as well. Yeah, all right. Lovely to talk to you all. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, if you are worried about uh, how much information about you could be on the web, help is at hand because today, as we've said, Safer Internet Day, there's a whole package of videos. Our very own Louise has been involved in these. Louise Minchin. And uh, there are tips and advice about sharing information online. You can see Louise's reports at bbc.co.uk forward slash share. Take care. And uh, thank you for watching. Good luck when you go back to school. All right. It's a quarter.